Hey folks, how are you guys doing? Uh, you're tuning in to Drafting Tutorials. My name is Casey. In today's video, I wanted to take you into a uh, project assembly and show you uh, a couple different things that you can use for assembly drawings. Now, assemblies are essentially just putting parts together that you've already designed as parts. Okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the uh, place command up here. All right, and in order to bring in parts to an assembly, this is where you want to go. Now, I have I already have parts that were pulled into the assembly here, but if I wanted to pull in more parts, I simply go to place and then select place. From here, um, just go to the uh, location on your drive or on your network where you can pull in your different parts. Okay, so I could pull in, I just select a, a piece hit open and then it would pull in the part I'm not gonna do that for this video uh, now if you're using bolts nuts uh, I wanna show you a place you can go real quick it's called the content center and the content center the way it was described to me in class <clears throat> was it's kinda like the uh, the Home Depot of Inventor so you can pull in parts that have already been created for you in different sizes and shapes and uh, so when you select on place from content center you're gonna get something that looks like this and let's say I want to pull in some bolts right you have folders here with all the different sizes and shapes of uh, bolts and socket heads and whatnot that you can choose from okay so if we wanted to go with a uh, countersunk hole uh, screws or bolts just double click on this folder and it's going to give you a wide selection here of different bolts that you can bring in. Some, you know, require a Phillips head. Others require a flat screwdriver to unscrew. So you've got plenty of different options here. Now, the one thing that I'm, I'm finding about going in here to Content Center is that when you're selecting your bolts and screws, uh, there's different lengths. So if you want to pull one in, I'll cover this in a different video, uh, just, just for the sake of keeping this video somewhat short. But if you were to pull it in, you can go to the properties on your bolt, and uh, you know before you even actually create the, the item, it will ask you for you know certain sizes and lengths of the bolt. So you can go to uh, the internet and search for different shapes and sizes and the links on those and then set up your properties for your bolt accordingly um, we'll get out of that real quick I just wanted to show you that real quick because that, that was a pretty handy tool uh, when it comes to uh, you know placing your your items in in your assembly so if we hold down on the shift key and then we uh, we click down on the uh, scroll button on your mouse you can move your assembly around as such like I'm doing right now this just changes your navigation wheel I found it useful though to kinda stick with the navigation wheel up here in the right hand corner so for instance like if I wanted to f switch sides and rotate this over to the, the other side I'll go with the navigation wheel like this and the reason for doing so is because of the uh, flexibility when it comes to moving your objects around it can get kind of kind of difficult and complex when you're putting your parts in okay so I tend to use the navigation wheel more than anything now if I'm doing constraints which I'm gonna show you here in a minute uh, I'll use the shift key, I'll hold down the shift key, and then push down on the uh, scroll button on my mouse, and I'll use that to uh, to implement a constraint. Okay, because I can see better, I can move the object around and kind of get to where I want to go when I'm implementing a constraint. Now, I don't I don't know if I've covered constraints in a, in a previous video. You might want to go back and look at some of the other videos I have. I, I believe I have. Uh, kind of covered constraints. Um, I'm going to cover the constraint again in this video. So right now I've got my lever bar selected, which would be this item right here, 
that I have highlighted. And I've got a couple constraints on it. <clears throat> I've got a uh, center line constraint, as you can see. It's that blue uh, line that's going through the object right here as you follow my cursor. That is a center line constraint. This is good for shafts and holes if you want to align a shaft with a hole. Um, I'm going to delete this real quick and I'm going to show you how you would enter a center line constraint. Because if we go in here and if I select this and I move it, you can see right now it, it moves all over the place, right? So I'm going on up here into the uh, actual material of the, the object. I don't want to do that. I want to get this thing aligned so that it fits right in here in this little uh, notch that I have in this object. So what I'll do is I go to constraint. Once you have constraint open, you're going to select your, your item, right? You'll left click on it once you get the white uh, dotted line going there. So all you have to do is hover over your whatever item it is that you're trying to do the center line for, the center line constraint. And once you have selected constraint and you, sl and you hover it over the object you want to constrain, make sure that white dotted line comes up, left click, and it turns blue. Now the next item that I want to do a center line uh, constraint for is the uh, the circle or the notch okay see it coming up right there and it has a white dotted line I'm hovering over that circle portion of that uh, notch so I'll left click on that and it, it says it you know it makes a noise there hit apply and now you can see that I have a constraint going so I cannot move this bar if I try to move it, you know, into the material like I was doing before, it's not allowing me to do it. Okay? And it's completely aligned with that notch. So that is a center line constraint. Um, I'll be showing some more videos here at a later date on uh, more constraints that you can use. Like, I have to constrain these springs to this bar so that they don't you know, cut into the material there of that uh, lever bar. I'll show you how to do that. And uh, we'll start piecing this project together that I have for uh, my mechanical drafting class. That's all I have for today. If you like what you're seeing, go ahead and hit the like button. You can subscribe to the channel. I'll be shooting more videos here in the future. And uh, that's all I have for today. You guys have a good day, and I'll talk to you later.